Welcome back, our doers. A survey simply isn't a survey without questions, right? The more organized, thought out, and simplified they are, the more motivated and engaged your participants will be to answer them. That's why it's important to craft unique questions with organized sections in order to optimize every survey you create. Remember, the feedback you gain from a well-crafted survey can serve as an invaluable tool when it comes to analyzing the current state of your business. It can also help your company make more informed decisions in the future. Not only that, but it makes your customers and employees happier because they feel like their opinions really matter. Luckily, Odoo can help anyone build top-notch professional-grade survey questions and sections in just a few clicks. And the feedback gained from these gorgeous surveys will help your company achieve continued success as well as maintain solid relationships between your customers and employees, which is precisely why we here at Stealthy Wood rely on Odoo surveys for all of our feedback needs. So let's dive in and see how to set all of this up with Odoo. All right, so here we are back on our surveys dashboard. So let's hop back into the appraisal form that I was working on in the last video. And I'm gonna go directly to the edit mode and we're gonna jump to the questions tab so we can start adding some personalized sections and questions to the survey. So we're gonna start off with a section. So I'm gonna simply click on the add a section button here and I'm gonna say general information. I'm gonna click on the enter button in order to save that. And then I'm gonna start adding some questions right away by clicking on the add a question button. And when I do that, a pop-up appears with plenty of options to modify and customize. So for the first question, we're going to go with something extremely simple. We're gonna ask for their name. So I'm just gonna add name there. All right, um, and then I need to choose uh, what type of question this is. So I can choose a multiple lines text box, uh, a single line text box, numerical value, a date, date time field, uh, multiple choice with only one answer, or multiple choice with multiple answers allowed. And I also have um, an easy to configure matrix uh, type as well. So as you can see, Odoo lets you ask any question you want in order to get the most useful feedback possible. So as I'm just looking for their name here, I'm simply going to select the single line text box. All right, and when I do that, a few options will appear in the answers tab below. Um, so I could say that the input must be an email um, that we will save as the user nickname, or I can even, even decide to validate the entry. And none of these fields are required. They're just additional ways to customize your questions. So I'm gonna leave those alone for now. All right, and you should also keep in mind that depending on which type, uh, which question type you select, new options will appear um, here underneath the answers tab as well as the options tab. All right, and they'll be different for each type uh, or each question type, but the description tab will always stay the same. So this is where you will add a quick message um, about the question or even an image. So again, that's going to stay the same regardless of the question type. All right, so now let's go directly to our options tab for a moment. Now here I can make this answer mandatory. I can choose to have uh, a conditional display or I can even add a question time limit for our live sessions. Now for this particular question, I'm going to say that it is mandatory. Of course, we want to know their name. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Um, and when I do, we have a new field uh, that appears. And this is where I can customize the error message that will show up if the participant tries to proceed without providing their name or without providing an answer for this question. Um, so again, that's just another quick and easy way that you can personalize the survey to fit your company's needs. And then below that, once again, we have the conditional display field. And this field allows you to display a question based on the answer of another one, um, which is just, again, a great way to customize your surveys in order to get the most in-depth, useful information from your participants. So if I select that, of course, I will then have to select a triggering question. I have no options for the triggering questions now because this is the first question of this survey. Uh, but anyway, we are not going to select that option. Uh, then lastly, we have the uh, question time limit for our live sessions. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and when I select that, of course, I can define um, how much time I will um, give to the participant to answer this question. However, I don't want to rush my employees through their appraisal. So of course, we're not going to select that. But now let's go ahead and click on save and new because of course, I want to save this question, but I also want to create a new one right away. 
All right, and with, with little features like that, users can really be as efficient as possible. Um, and this way you can also quickly create top-notch surveys with customized questions in really just a few clicks. All right, so here I am um, ready to create my second question, um, which is going to be date of appraisal. All right, again, pretty simple um, because I'm looking for the date that the um, employee uh, responded or filled out this appraisal form. So I'm going to simply select select um, date as the question type. Um, and I also want this to be a mandatory answer. So I'm going to go ahead and check that under the options tab as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and save and close this. So now I have some questions under my general information section, which was super easy to do. And if I should ever need to edit these questions, all I have to do um, is click on the question itself. I get this pop up again and I can um, make any change that I would like. It's that easy. All right, but for now, we're going to go ahead and add uh, another section and we're going to call it employee. All right, and then once again, we're going to start adding some questions right away. So this is going to be the self-evaluation. All right, and I'm going to select the question type as a matrix. And when I do that, just like before, we have more type specific options that will show up, um, especially here in the answers tab. So I'm going to make the choices in the answers section, um, the numbers, uh, one between one and five actually because that's the scale i want my employees to use when ranking their own skills so um, i'm going to go ahead and add that and you'll notice i'm going to add one after i type my um, desired answer i just have to click on enter and that will take me to the next um, field it's as simple as that so let's go ahead and add all of our values here. All right, I'm just gonna click away in order to end that. Of course, if I click on enter and it adds a new line, I don't have to fill it out. There will be no problem there. All right, so that was super quick. Um, now we're gonna add some rows as well. So let's go ahead and add some values here. And if you don't know exactly what this will look like um, as you're filling it out, you'll see uh, an example here. So we have our answers at the top and the rows um, to the left. All right, so let's go ahead and say um, autonomy as one, initiative as another, and team spirits as the last one. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And we also wanna make this mandatory as well. So I'm gonna pop on over to the options tab, click on mandatory. And then here um, with the matrix type, I also have another option. So I can say if I only want to allow one choice per row, or if I want to allow multiple choices per row, um, but I only want to allow one choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna click on save and new because I want to add one more field to the end of my appraisal form. In fact, I want my participants to have the chance to leave comments about Stealthy uh, Wood and how we run our business. And this is really um, the best way to organically hear from my hardworking employees. The sort of feedback is also invaluable when it comes to making future decisions for my company. So we're going to title this, um, feel free to leave a comment. All right, I'm gonna leave this as a multiple lines text box. And in this case, I don't want to make it a, a mandatory field because I don't want them to feel obligated to say something um, if they don't have anything to say. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and save and close this. And then I also wanna be sure that I save my survey as well. And we're going to see three options um, at the top of this survey. So we can start the survey, we can test the survey, and we can also print as well. Now I wanna make sure that everything is working and looking as it should. So I'm going to test the survey by clicking on the test button. All right, so once I do that, um, Odoo is going to take me to the front end of my website and it will show me exactly how this survey will look to my employees. And right up here, all right, you're going to um, notice that we're in the test mode as indicated by this blue header. And if I click on this button right here, um, Odoo would redirect me back to the survey template, survey template page in the back end to make any changes or edits that I would like, which is just another super cool time-saving feature. But for now, let's go ahead and click on Start Survey. All right, so I have all of the questions, all of the fields that I've created. So everything looks 
uh, really nice. Everything is really clearly presented. Um, so I see the general information section, the employee section with their um, related uh, questions. Um, so the entire thing looks super great and it's also super easy to see which fields are mandatory and those that aren't. Um, so it's exactly what I wanted um, and I'm really loving the way that it looks. So I'm not going to make any changes, um, but I do want to quickly go back to um, the back end. So I'm going to click on this button here. All right, and we're going to be redirected back to the appraisal form template. Um, and again, I'm happy with this appraisal form. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start survey. Now, when I do that, you'll notice that the stage of the survey has changed from draft to in progress, um, which will need to happen in order for people to actually take the survey. And in addition to that, we also have some new features that appear in the upper left corner. So I now have the option to share the survey and I can create a live session and then we still have the options test and print. Um, but another new option is to close the survey as well. And all of this can be done from a single template page, which is extremely convenient. And as per usual, it saves a lot of time. And that's it. That's how you quickly and easily create a professional grade, fully customized survey with O2. So thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.